What's up guys, Chris from Closet Weave here, and we're back in my closet to watch season 4 episode 11 of Overlord. So real quick, I just want to give a big thanks to everyone that watched uh, last week's episode. It was probably my most viewed uh, reaction video, so I guess a bunch of people respected Xanik and wanted to uh, click on the video and watch a, a bunch of people's reactions, so I really enjoyed um, all the comments that were left. I'll probably put them up on the screen and yeah last week I got a bunch of subs I'm up to 78 now I think so 22 more to go and I'll be at a hundred and I'm gonna uh, start doing videos without the mask I'll do a, a special video where I'll reveal my face and I'm planning to do a giveaway so if you enjoyed the videos I put out um, consider subbing and yeah you, you might have a chance to win the giveaway um, but thank you guys so much for the support last week. You have no idea how much it does mean to me. I did say this in my Classroom of the Elite video, so, um, yeah, thank you guys so much. It was a really great episode. Um, we started off with a little meeting between groups of the hero, of different heroes from Red Drop. Uh, there was a little, uh, pervert man who had two girls. Uh, the Blue Rose group and the Black Scripture and then I guess they were just planning to try and uh, work together to try and take down Ainz and then we had the big uh, meeting between Ainz and Zanik and Zanik tried his best to try and uh, talk it out with Ainz but Ainz was saying he was doing this uh, for his own happiness and to protect those he cherished the most and Zanik being the man he is, he he didn't tr he did, he tried his best to negotiate, but he understood where Ainz was coming from, and he actually saw the humanity within Ainz, and he said, even though we're gonna lose, I'm still gonna fight for my people. But then the nobles in his army turned against him, and uh, tried to give his head to Ainz to try and be uh, spared, but. Ainz took that as the ultimate disrespect and he was very angry with that and he sent them to to Nazareth to be tortured and told um, Aura to to kill them slowly even if they begged for death not to give them a painless one so Ainz is really frustrated with the humans and he's just ready to wage war on anyone so yeah, thanks again for all the support guys. Let's jump into Season 4, Episode 11 of Overlord. Well-Prepared Traps. <laughs> Jeez, they already wiped them out. Yep, Rick Tazanik, he was a real one. <laughs> What's going on with this guy? <laughs> oh, time to meet Ainz. Nope, Shaltir. <laughs> Dang, they're gonna keep them safe. <laughs> Oh, they, they gotta they gotta check him first <laughs> gotta make sure you're all good
Uh oh. It's about to go down. They made Ainz angry. <laughs> they put in all the crazy bucks on him. Oh, and there's Albedo in her armor. Ooh. Okay, so he was the one in the the red suit. Red drop. And he was saying he wasn't even he wouldn't even be able to defeat Ainz. But he can handle death knights. Dang! Okay, he's going straight into it. <laughs> Oh, Albedo versus him. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, doesn't even phase her. <laughs> He's trying everything. But don't get too confident, Albedo. Oh, <laughs> he's so weak. Okay, maybe. Maybe you can stay confident. Oh, she's, you're just gonna make Albedo angry. <laughs> oh, sneak attack. Oh. <laughs> There's the trap. Ooh! Who is this? What's going on here? Uh oh. Ooh! Oh, it didn't phase him. Does, that looks like the, the one of the players he sees like in the flashback, like, touch me, I think? Or maybe I'm just misremembering how he, how he looked in his little flashback. Hmm. Riku. Okay, never heard it. He's got the floating weapons, the four chosen weapons. Join me. <laughs> Recruit him. Ooh. Sounds like a good deal if you're trying to save the kingdom. Uh oh. This dude's charging up for something. Oh? A barrier? They set their own traps? Uh-oh. <laughs> Dang, they just gotta keep putting the buffs on themselves. This has to be a player. This has to be another player. And this dude looks sick in his armor. Ooh! Dodged it. Oh, we're seeing way more abilities out of Ainz now. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh oh. Oh, he's getting tagged. This is the most I've ever seen Ainz moving around. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! Scratch!
scratched him. Oh, dang. Doom Lord. Oh, level 90? Oh, this dude's analyzing, though. Okay, break him down, Ainz. What does this do? Jesus! <laughs> what? Okay, little top no jutsu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I gave him a chance. Yup. <laughs> he was giving him a chance. No, Albedo, go crazy. Oh, he's still trying to keep him alive. So did the red drop dude just get murked by Albedo? <laughs> well, he did say he'd be able to escape, so maybe he got a he got away. Dang! Just dipping, but the invitation's there. Oh, see, he escaped. Alright, I guess he, he still didn't have a chance against Ainz. Whoa. Oh, is that the dragon we saw earlier in the season? あの中に侵入できるのは資源の魔法を使えるワールドワイドの保有者の自分は第二位の立ち位置にいた方が安全という考え方は理解できるそれともワールドワイドの二つ所有していて魔導は戦場に持ってこなかったという意味か Dang, this dragon is all-knowing or something. ワールドワイドの強さはどうだったかあれなら次に戦えば uh-oh. Uh-oh. This guy's gonna figure out how to defeat Ainz. Dang. <laughs> but who would you give it to? Shoot. Oh my goodness. That was Pandora's actor the whole time. <laughs> so there is actually no chance against Ainz. Holy! That is insane, the plays by Ainz. Dude, so. Saw the dragon, didn't even fight against Ainz, he fought against Pandora's actor. That's crazy. Well, now we know who the, the person is in the crazy dragon armor. He's 
a level 90, uh, like all-knowing, powerful dragon in this world, and he teamed up with Azut, the guy from Red Drop, and they tried their best against Alvedo and Pandora's actor, not even Ainz, and still they had no chance against those two, so the dragon knows he, he doesn't even have a chance against Ainz, and now Ainz is going to try and figure him out, because he was, I think Pandora's actor was saying he can tell the... Uh, the knight was being controlled by someone else, so he knows there was no no real body uh, in that armor. It was just something being controlled. But yeah, the dragon knows about world items and players and NPCs. So can't wait to see what happens next. I'm just gonna just take all this information in from their battle, and can't wait to see what Ainz comes up with. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, and I'll see you on the next one.